no. Cringe warning. Oh, this is so cringy. It looks like slightly bent. There is too much at stake. It's all way too expensive. Right here, there's just nothing as well as right here. What are you supposed to cool? I'm so confused. Should I just put it right there? What, what the heck? I want to cry. I went in with the scissors, you know, to cut this. And I bent this little thing off and I think it broke off. Yeah, it's bent. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing Every day and every night No time to lose One day, one step in the right direction I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the blog. It is Tuesday in our day. Uh, in our chance to push hard and the topic for this blog is install well putting the water block on the graphics card. Amazing looking thing. Let's hope that I can actually do this. So let's get it. By the way, all the PC build related blogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to get back with a sweet, sweet video. In the last one, you can check it out right here. I already, well, I unboxed it. This wasn't quite as cringy as actually ripping apart the graphics card if you want to see me do that then check out the vlog before i will list it right here and now let's get right to the madness i guess oh god what can possibly go wrong so the thing is i think i have a problem because when i look at this at this graphic right here like why is there a cover on this uh, that, that i don't understand it so how how can i remove this there is no screw left there is nothing left maybe except underneath here this warranty warranty void thing but other than that there is there is nothing else left maybe i just need to rip it off again oh no uh, no cringe 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 warning okay 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 it's actually a thing oh this is so cringy oh god oh my god thankfully okay it came off i'm sweating it's unbelievable. Okay, all these funny pets. Leave me alone. Okay, so there is... Ah, okay, so there is actually yet another thing in between, which is this plate in between the cooler, the, the stock cooler and the card itself. Wow. This was on here like this. Well, no problem. Okay, I can do this. The thing looks like it looks like slightly bent. I'm just doing such a great job. I know, I know. It's unbelievable. Let's wipe it all. That is just too intense for my liking. There is too much at stake. It's all way too expensive. I'm totally serious. That is very stressful for me. Maybe it's because I'm almost broke at the moment. As I said, if I mess something up, I can't recover from this at the moment. But let's just hope everything will work out fine. Okay, it's looking shiny again. Now it makes sense to me. And now we can actually use this manual. I need to cover all of that with the pads. Pad, pad, pad. It also came with a little smudging tool. That's the Grizzly paste and that's the X570 Aqua paste. No idea. I have no idea. Okay, step one, remove all the original stuff. Yes, done. Apply a thin layer of thermal compound to the GPU, which is this thing, and all the other RAM modules, which is this. Eight. And then I need to cut fitting pieces from the thermal pads and then place them on top of the components indicated by green rectangles. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness. It's not straightforward. You need to work. Why don't they just cut it for me? They could just cut it actually. Also, what's interesting, right here, there's just nothing, as well as right here. What are you supposed to cool? There and there? But there is just nothing. I'm so confused. Should I just put it right there? What, what the heck? There is no chip at all. Okay, so the thing is, I'm so confused and I think, I think it would be a bad idea. Like, there clearly, there is nothing on this board. I put them on there, but I think it... it that might actually be a bad idea, so I will just remove them and hope that that's not a bad thing, actually. There is clearly nothing on here. Like, what do you mean? I think I'm good. I will now remove all the covers. Okay, I'm sweating my balls off and I think I just messed it up. Right there, this little thing, this little diode or conus, I don't know what it is, with a number 025. I want to cry. I went in with the scissors and, you know, to cut this. And I bent this little thing off and I think I... Cr it it broke off like 
slightly. It was like maybe like 30 to 40, maybe 45 degrees bent to this, this way. I pushed it back in. If this just ruined the whole car, this would be so bad. This by far, so far, this is the worst experience so far. And if I in fact did destroy this card, I'm going to end my... I just redid basically everything. I was as careful as possible and there's nothing here and also nothing here. I'm still unsure, but I decided that I will just put nothing in these places and move on to the paste. I think I could try to solder this, this little thing, but let's just hope that it will work. And this time I will use a bit, I'll use a bit more of this paste. I don't want to take this one apart again. This project is making me feel so bad. This is the best that I can do. It's probably too much and it's not evenly applied. Nope, I'm I'm so done. I'm so done with this stuff. Okay, except this little this little mess up, I think it's not that bad, but all in all, this is way worse than expected. <laughs> Paste also applied on here. Okay, one last check. I think I have it all. No, I have no idea. Oh my god. <sighs> Actually, I forgot about the back plate. I forgot about the back plate unboxing. So here it is. That's the back plate right here. And yeah, this will be the next part. Oh, I need to study this freaking manual. So I just found the screws that the block came with and yeah, let's do this. Okay, that's the thing installed. Let's move on to the back plate. There is another manual right here. Okay, I see. Oh no, I need to unscrew all of this stuff again. So meanwhile, I did this that was straightforward there are a few protrusions and you just need to pad them hopefully this will stick okay and now just need to place it i guess why isn't this oh my this is by far the hardest problem of the build i think this graphics card thing if we take a look inside here there are these if you remember these four screws with the springs well they are for sure touching the back plate also it's looking it's looking yeah it's bent it's definitely bent so i will open this up again remove this the springs and this might solve the issue and instead of these screws i will just use the regular ones that actually came with the cooling block this one this one this one and this one these got replaced and i should fit without a problem oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's that's something completely different okay and here we go it's done backplate and water block i don't have this cover installed this okay so this thing is actually quite easily attach and detachable with just these four screws. It's finally done. I'm not sure if the card survived or not. It would be really bad if not. If it's just not working, then I will probably try to solder this little thing that I almost broke off. Let's hope for the best. And that's it. As I said so far, and by far this was the worst. Like, I don't know, for me, for me it was actually, it was actually quite difficult and painstaking. It wasn't ordeal but enough complaining i hope that the graphics card is properly working from the looks of it i mean it looks it looks okay no i have absolutely no idea but we will see in the next vlog i will just put it in this case i need an easy vlog and this will be easy i guess I, at least i hope so smash the like button the way i smashed this little thing and almost broke it off bang the bell like crap to never miss pc build related vlogs and check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow